Hello everyone, today I will be making crispy kare kare with my mom on my birthday. I hope you will all be able to follow these easy steps. Enjoy! Alright everyone, for the ingredients we need peanuts, aswete, rice flour, garlic, siling haba, onions, tomatoes, alamang, puso na saging, sitaw, pechay, talong or eggplant. You will also need rice flour, yempo, and the broth from cooking the yempo for 2 hours. So let's check on the frying of our pork yempo that was boiled for 2 hours yesterday before we made our crispy kare kare. Okay, so first, let's grind our peanuts in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can always use a mortar and pestle. So when we prepare the base of the sauce, we first toast the rice flour. When the flour is light golden brown, you will now be able to pour the broth. This broth I seasoned with salt and pepper and also many aromatics. Add in the ground peanuts, but a useful reminder is do not incorporate the blade with the mixture. As you can see, the sauce is starting to thicken. Now we should put in the asuete. Here is our sauce with the perfect thickness and color. It's time to prepare our ginisang alabang. Here, we are rinsing it to remove the extreme saltiness. Saute the onions, garlic, and tomatoes. The ceiling habat we will use later for the garnish. Alright, now put in the alamang. Just a reminder, you will need a lot more oil than normal for sauteing because the alamang 
tends to soak in the oil. When the alamang is not pink anymore, that's the time when you know it's ready. When you're done with everything else, put in the ceiling haba for the added aroma and for the color. After everything else, that's the time when we steam the vegetables. Now is the most exciting part. We're ready to plate. Here is the finished product of our jaw-dropping crispy kare kare. I hope you all enjoyed your cooking. Thank you.